Hi, Rich Demidio here. In this video, I wanted to talk about observing lists in Sky Safari. Observing lists are really the core of this tool, since everything is pretty much based on an observing list. Observing lists is where you'll identify the objects you want to observe. You'll be able to look at details of those objects you'll be able to navigate to their location in the sky and see their relative position. So let's get started and as you can see I've already fired up Sky Safari. You'll see the observe button on the bottom. Click on that and then you go to observing lists. Now obviously for me I have lots of observing lists that you can see that I've created over a period of time. One of the easy ways to get started is they provide a lot of capabilities online. So click on this import from online repository and that will bring up a list that they have provided. Um, if you note here, I'm going to click on uh, Astronomical League since a lot of us are working on AL projects. You can see that the the lists are all there. You can go ahead and click one. I'll click on the Carbon Star list and you can see it's imported that into my observing list. So now that I've done that, I can go back and we'll open up that list that I just imported and you can see these are all the stars that are part of that list. If I click on one of those targets you'll see the first command, show object info. This gives you all the information. I'm not going to go through all this in detail here, but the point is, is that you can see there's a lot of attributes provided for each of these objects. You'll notice on the bottom there's two dots, which indicates there's a second page, and it's typical that you'll see those descriptions for many objects within SkyTools. So if we go back to our observing list, you'll notice that I had imported, but you see at the bottom, there's also create new up observing list. So I'm going to walk you through that. You simply give it a name. I'm going to call it my list. And why would I do this? Well, perhaps I have some favorite objects that I wanted to uh, create uh, a list for so I can just view those as I wish. So we'll create that list. Now I have to introduce you to another feature in order to populate that list. Here's our little search button here. This is a pretty powerful capability. What you can do here is type in an object and here you can see I've typed in M31. I click search and you'll see that there's the description for it. I can go back to the first page and under this more button you see in the bottom right click on that and then you'll see add to observing list scroll down to the list I just created called my list and that's been added so that's the search feature and one more search feature I'll show you to conclude this is if you click on search you'll see there's something called tonight's best and this is where Sky Safari will figure out based on your location time of the year these would be good candidate objects uh, to view so let's say I'm really interested in Ada Cass. I can click on that and go to more and add it to my observing list. And you can see I could just repeat that process for as many times as I want. And then if I go back to my list, we'll see that it's been populated with those two items that we selected. So that's what I wanted to show you in terms of observing lists. In the next video, we'll leverage that to actually explore how we would uh, navigate and observe that particular object. Thanks for watching.